the just sworn in member of parliament for Omoro County, Jago Blokori Olanya, says he is ready to work with his boss, Rebecca Kadaga, if he is elected deputy speaker of the 10th parliament. I am confident, I am very confident that tomorrow, after the polls are closed, I will be declared duly elected deputy speaker and I'll take that oath and I'll make my speech, my charge for the next five years in supporting the speaker in our mission of guaranteeing the independence of parliament and also making sure that m members feel comfortable doing what they're doing. Olanya picked forms to contest against Kadaga, but the NRM party leadership prevailed on him to step down and contest for the deputy speakership. The period up to the party's Central Executive Committee's decision was punctuated with deep rivalry between the two and sharp divisions within the party ranks. Now, with both Olanya and Kadaga having high chances of being elected to the two positions, questions are being asked whether the two can work together after such a bitter contest. In an exclusive interview with NTV at Parliament, Olanya says he bears no grudge against Kadaga. My personal ego, I should not allow it to come in between the things I do. So even if I have a personal problem with Right Honorable Kadaga, it should not reveal itself in how we run public affairs. No. But we asked him whether stepping down for Kadaga has not rendered him weak. I was asked by the SEC and the president that they should maintain the status quo. And I said what I said in that meeting. Does that show that I am weak or I am not man enough? I don't think so. I don't think so. It just shows uh, that those who fight and live, live to fight another day. You don't fight until the bitter end because it's not necessary. However, Olanya has not lost his hope of one day being the Speaker of Parliament. Success happens where opportunity meets preparation. Opportunity is from God, preparation is from the individual, like me. I am prepared to take it. So when God provides the opportunity, I will succeed. Some, particularly in the opposition, have branded Olanya as partisan, bent on serving the whims of the ruling NRM and executive. They cite the passing of the controversial public order management bill. Olanya insists he gave opportunity to all MPs from both sides to debate the matter. I don't debate. I don't vote. So how can I be leaning to government or leaning against the opposition? How can I be doing that? Do I give sufficient time to the people from the government side? And I think my answer is yes. Do I give sufficient time to the people in the opposition? And I think my answer is yes. Do I force a vote on anybody? My answer is no. I don't. I don't even vote. Olanya well, admits he presided over the passing of many laws sharply rejected by the opposition, but says they have all been legitimate. You have only facilitated the process. The result is owned by the people who took the vote. The majority will always carry, but as the will and desire of the minority and their rights been respected. That's the cornerstone of parliamentary practice and procedure. And that's what I try to follow. On Thursday, Olanya faces of at least for now against Kampala Central MP, Muhammad Sereko. But what is Olanya riding on to be sure that he retains the seat of the deputy speaker for another five years? And my record, as I say, speaks for itself that uh, I have done uh, five years as deputy speaker of parliament. And, and I'm sure members can say he, he did his best, he did a good job. Though Walanya has not been publicly campaigning, he says he has done enough groundwork. Swearing in of members of the 10th parliament is already done, but it's not clear whether the opposition will field a candidate for the speakership. But it is tomorrow when these MPs will decide who will be their speaker and deputy speaker in a session presided over by the Chief Justice, but Katrere. Though Honorable Olanya and Honorable Sereko are sure of victory, only tomorrow will tell who will be the deputy speaker of the 10th parliament. Agnes Nandutu, NTV, parliament.